Today we'll see how we can enable GST in Tally ERP9 release 6.0 beta version. As we all know, we are using beta version. I request you not to use your live data. Instead, you can use your dummy data creating a new folder. Today we'll see how we can enable GST for a company having single tax rate for all its goods or services. GST module can be enabled from F11 company features. Under F11 company features, we have to select statutory and taxation. Under statutory and taxation screen, we will get two parameters. The first one is enable goods and service tax and set or alter GST details. We have to enable these two parameters and after once we accept we will get GST details screen where we have to select the state to which we are maintaining GST. As I am maintaining GST for state Karnataka, I am selecting Karnataka and we have to give GST number and applicable date. As we all know, GST is going to be applicable from 1st July 2017. I am selecting 1st July 2017. Next comes the parameter set or alter GST rate details. We have to make this parameter yes. And the GST rate details screen is look like this. Here it is asking the taxability. Taxability whether the goods we are dealing whether it is taxable it is exempted or nil rated. In our example as it is taxable, I am selecting taxable. The next come the tax type. It is what are the tax types it is asking. It, it has says integrated tax says and here we are missing two types of taxes SGST and CGST state tax and central tax. So to enable these additional parameters or additional tax types we should go to F11 configuration here we have additional configurations which are not there in default screen so I may I'm just enabling all these parameters now I can see here HSN SAC details tax details tax types now I'm taking example of a bag so I'm just giving bag and giving some example of HSN code and taxability I'm selecting taxability as my item is chargeable to tax and next is is reverse charge applicable this we'll discuss in the later class is ineligible for input credit this we'll discuss in the later class next comes tax type integrated tax here integrated tax it's nothing but a interstate tax IGST which we will call IGST see by giving IGST it will automatically divide into central tax as well as state tax see the example now I am taking example of tax rate 18 percent once I enter 18 percent what happened the integrated tax is 18 percent and the same thing is divided to central tax 9 percent and say state tax 9 percent the next comes says says is applicable for luxury goods here in our example it is not applicable so I am just accepting it the next enable GST classifications this parameter will be discussed in the next class I am accepting this particular screen and I am accept I'm coming out of statutory and taxation screen the next comes voucher entry before creating a voucher we need the masters so I need a ledger account so I am going under masters accounts info ledger create here I am giving you example of 
IGST as well as SGST and CGST. First, I'll give you example of SGST and CGST. So now I'm dealing or selling in Karnataka. So my buyer is in Karnataka. So to make you understand better, I'm creating a buyer name as Karnataka buyer. buyer will come under salary debtors and you need to enable maintain balances bill by bill yes and here state we have to select the state and pin code and next comes set or order gst details should be enabled and here the registration type whether the buyer is a composition dealer consumer regular or unregistered in my example is a regular so i'm selecting regular and here again the gst code has to be given of the buyer okay the next is party type whether party type is deemed export or SEZ. Since in my example it is not applicable, I am selecting not applicable. Going for the classes, we will be discussing each party type separately. And is e-commerce operator. In my example, he is not an e-commerce operator, so I am making no. And I am accepting this particular master creation screen. The next comes the sales sales ledger in gst as we term as a supply i'm creating supply ledger supply of goods will come under sales and here is gst applicable since it is applicable i'm making yes and here set or alter tax details is no as I am using common tax for all type of goods what I am dealing one single tax rate next comes supply of goods as I am supplying goods I am selecting the supply type as goods and I am accepting supply of goods creation the next comes duties I need two tax ledgers one is SGST another is CGST. So I am creating two ledgers. The first ledger is SGST. SGST will come under duties and taxes and here the type of duty or tax it has to be selected GST and we have to select state tax for SGST and here per percentage of calculation not need not be given because in the company master I have already given in F11 company features so I am accepting this screen and next comes CGST I am creating CGST duty ledger under duties and taxes I am selecting service tax as a duties or tax type and here I am selecting central tax and I am not giving any percentage I am accepting this screen next comes i need a stock i need a inventory so i'm coming to gateway of tally inventory info stock item create i'm creating the stock called bag and i'm measuring this bag with numbers numbers i'm measuring and accepting here GST applicable it is applicable and I'm doing nothing just selecting supply type as goods and I'm creating the stock master and coming out now I'm going to show you 
how to pass a supply of goods entry. I am going to transactions, accounting vouchers. I am selecting sales. I am giving the reference. Selecting the buyer in Karnataka. I'm selecting type of dealer regular and selecting sales ledger as supply of goods. I'm pressing spacebar to get my stock item list. I'm selecting bag as my stock item. I'm giving the quantity and the rate of each bag and I'm getting the amount. The next here we have to select the duty ledgers. Here we have to select state tax, SGST. Are we getting here SGST? I'm not getting. Okay, let me try with CGST. Am I getting CGST? No. What could be the problem? The problem is here the date. I'm maintaining company on 1st April 2017, the transaction. As GST is applicable from 1st July 2017, the tax is not getting calculated. So let me see changing the date to 1st July 2017. Am I getting? Yes. I am getting CGST 450 and next I will try with SGST. Yes, I am getting because as GST is applicable from 1st July 2017 only if you give this date applicable date only then you will get so I am accepting after accepting we will see in print preview so to see print preview we will press pager I am going to print I am pressing all time for preview I am press and we will see other GST details are shown in print preview. Yes, see here I am getting a company name and a company GST number, the buyer name, buyer state code, buyer GST number, and you can see here HS, HSN code, and here you can see CGST, SGST, and you can see here HSN code wise tax. Here I can see you taxable value, central tax, sales tax, bifurcation of this 18%. And thank you for watching this video. For more videos, you please subscribe my channel, you like and share. Thank you for